we have a special day, free sieves. Pacific Northwest is a wonderful place to teach because we have a geological wonderland. And there is a story everywhere you are. But then I take it a step further. How do we take that knowledge, interpreting the environment, to uh, where do we build and where do we not build? Where do we build so we are not affected by our hazards? And we have all the hazards here in the Pacific Northwest, whether we're looking at earthquakes or landslides or floods or tsunamis or volcanic hazards. So we read the landscape to put the story together. I was trying to preserve a place called Newell Creek Canyon that the city of Oregon City was intent on developing. You know, I just talked to everybody who knew everybody and I said, I need some information. And they said, well, go see Scott Burns at Portland State. So call the phone, go down, meet Scott. Hi, how you doing? Love to work on this. I'll bring out my graduate geology class and we'll map the canyon. So what I look for are scarps, bent areas where the where a landslide is detached in the in the past. And generally below it, instead of being a nice smooth slope, it's going to be bumpy, what we call hummocky topography. It's shouting out to me, that's an old landslide. And so I need to convey to the people who are potentially going to buy the property or use the property, that's an old landslide. If it's moved once, it has a higher potential for moving again. From Sky 8, you see the earth dropping away from two apartment buildings. I was doing a story and there had been a couple of apartment buildings in Oregon City that were evacuated because they were starting to slide down the hill. In some cases, the earth has dropped 15 to 20 feet below its original level. I called Scott and said, do you know anything about this Oregon City area? He said, Bruce, not only do I know something about it, as a class, we did a study and recommended they never build in that area. The study identified 53 previous landslides in the canyon and issued a warning about where the apartments would be built, saying most of the site is in a high risk zone for land. The folks built the apartments anyway, which several years later were sliding down the hill. And so Scott gave me a great piece of advice. He said, never ever build your house on an ancient landslide because ancient landslides eventually wake back up. I was a member of the Future Teachers of America Club, and so I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. That was my passion. The question was, what subject would I teach? The only reason I took the geology class is that a girl that I really liked was taking a geology class, and I lost the girl, but I fell in love with geology. Across the field, what did we see? Piles and piles of pocket gophers and moles, the great homogenizers and what they do. What I didn't know about Scott, which I have come to know about Scott, is how much Scott's passion in life is about teaching people things. I, I think we can all relate to stories, right? And that's one of the things Scott's been so great about. He doesn't say, well, this fault could slip past this fault and then there's this some technical jargon. He says, it would be like this. And he puts it in a story. And then we will go down into eight caves. And this is one of the finest lava caves in the world. The big thing that the students are going to see is the meatball. There it is. Monty Python was in search of the Holy Grail. We are in search of the meatball. What happens is as the lava flow is going down in through the cave, sometimes a piece of magma will start solidifying and then it will bounce around uh, in this liquid like a meatball and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it floats on top and then comes to a constriction and gets stuck. So the meatball is in the ceiling. It's quite amazing to meet a human being who is so in love with teaching, who is so bright, who is so totally functional in both left brain and right brain capacities and has somehow managed to integrate them and have fun. That's Scott. People enjoy learning about the area around them. So we read the landforms. That's learning the story. And I tell every student at the beginning of every class, you are going to have a new set of eyes. You're going to be seeing the world around you like you never saw it before. And wherever you are, wherever you are driving along or hiking, Mother Nature is shouting out to us. And every place you are, there's a different story. <laughs>
Uh, and, and then I have a bumper sticker, have a nice day. And when I go into Freddy's and I buy something with my have a nice day t-shirt, it's wonderful. The cashier says, have a good nice day. No, that's nice. High grade metamorphic rock. I mean, it is a chance for a teachable moment.